what is up, Berserker Patriot Store family? So, we had this conversation on one of my lives uh, about a month ago about how we're in the end part of the Bible right now, okay? We're the persecuting Christians. And now, shout out to Tim Pool, by the way. I'm using some of your content, bud. But uh, I, I just have to make a video about this right now because Christians, where are you? Where are the ones of you like this guy and like me that are out here making a big deal? Um, where are you? Because look, I want to show you the evil, the evil here masquerading as your saviors okay this is just absolute insanity this is a preacher preaching on the side of the street against the den of sin across the street and he's arrested just for preaching nothing more don't believe me watch this So the preacher is saying this is public property. He said this is public property. The cop says something about being respectful. The preacher tells the cop, "You do you, I'll do me. This is public property." God is not. God is not, and the cop walks right up. There you go. Grabs him right away. Puts his hands behind his back. What? It gets worse. It gets much worse. Preacher asks if he can give his bed. Cop says, no. It's coming with you. All of these cops, three cops, two ladies, one guy, arresting a dude for standing across the street from a pride event, and they're clapping as he's getting arrested. It gets worse. He um, yells something about Jesus again as they're cuffing him. So they, like, ram him from this side of the sidewalk to the other side of the sidewalk and shove him up against the wall while all the time his backpack is just dangling around his cuffed hands okay listen if you don't wake up now then I'm sorry but you're not going to make it because if you're not prepared and you're not ready and you're not getting together with your local Christians, and you're not praying, and you're not at least getting ready to survive, this summer is gonna be nuts, bro. This summer is gonna be insane, because this is why what happened to me at Wawa today happened, okay? And if you go through my videos, you'll see what happened. I am waiting, It's it just happened a couple hours ago, so they haven't even made the police report yet. So, as soon as they get that in, I'm going to pull the public records and I'm going to get the cop's body cam footage. There was enough evidence for me to press charges against the pedophile that exposed himself in the parking lot at Wawa today. Which, by the way, the manager watched it happen. Okay, I'm going to make a video about why this happened in a little bit here. But, the manager watched it happen and just went back inside. Okay. After this guy exposed himself fully nude to children where I live. <laughs> Didn't work out too well. Okay. Now, everybody in this parking lot saw this happen. I'm the only one that went after this dude. The only one. What the fuck? And I could only get one guy to give me an interview in the whole parking lot for my video. One guy. And then I walked in and talked to the manager just so I could have them admitting they, they were there and saw what happened. So now that you know that, once I get the police report, I have to press charges on the guy. They refused to press charges on the pedophile exposing themselves to children in the parking lot, okay? Not only did they refuse to press charges, they didn't trespass the guy. Luckily, just from situational awareness, when he pulled into the parking lot, I and parked as close as he did to the front of my truck, I got out and I took a picture of his fucking car and his tag. So, when law enforcement had to be called, guess what? 
I had everything I needed already. When he was spitting at me, when he was exposing himself to the children and laughing about it, like it was okay, which clearly it was because it took the cops two hours to get here. The cop that came, good kid, good kid. Not talking shit about the cops, but I am at the same time. Not this cop, you know. He's just doing his job. Anyway, as he's laughing about this and threatening to fucking rape me in the middle of a parking lot in front of at least 40 people in a busy packed Wawa at 6 o'clock, I had the presence of mind to look up at the camera and smile and remember exactly what time it was, okay? Because there's cameras all over Wawa. Just happens to be, just so you know, once you get past the um, corner of a Wawa building, their cameras can no longer see you. We found that out today as well. Um, so it's a complete blind spot if it's not looking at the building. About five feet past the building, complete blind spot through the entire parking lot of a Wawa building. Just so you understand that as well. That's nuts, right? That doesn't seem like they're trying to keep you safe at the gas pumps or anything, does it? Because if they were recording the gas pumps, they would have got the guy full balls and dick hanging out in front of children right there. But, because enough people said, you know, were witness to it, and because they did catch him spitting on people and doing crazy shit when he was in the purview of the camera, there was enough evidence. Plus, the cops already knew who the guy was. He's a, he's a freaking creepo, dude. When I get this video footage, you're going to see this dude's a typical pedophile. Um, uh, shorts that are made out of sweatpant material, pulled all the way up to the belly button, socks pulled up as high as they can go with sandals on. Dude was fucking creepy, super obese. Crazy, crazy people, man. What's wrong with you people? Uh, it's time to put the power of Christ back in our country, people. What is wrong with you? I'm getting so angry. They're turning the frogs gay, and they're coming after your children. They're going to cut your children's dicks off. Wake up! <laughs> Little Alex Jones for you. Come on, guys. Seriously. Where is everybody at? If we could save the children, that's all that matters. Do you understand that? That's all that matters. Because that's the future. We're not the future anymore. This is the future from when we said we were the future. They're the future now. They're the light of the world. Do we really want the light of the world being what you just watched? That's law enforcement. That guy, look at the anger at these in these cops' faces in that video. Look at the anger. They want to hurt this pastor for preaching love. And t trying to save these people's souls. Trying to save these people's souls. That's just, that breaks my heart. That angers me to a, a, a fiber of my being that I don't even know how to explain it. I can't let it go. I can't. This is my God we're talking about. Are you kidding me? Yes, God is more important than anything any of you believe. Period. Plain and simple. Even in the Constitution, in the forefathers' writings, if you're not a moral or religious person, there's no place for you here. So listen. Us Christians, us MAGA Christians, us MAGA patriots, you know, us based people, let me see if I can give a few more trigger words for the FBI here. Um, those of us that believe in a core value and belief in this country to our actual, with every fiber of our beings, we believe that core belief is God and Jesus Christ. Do you understand? You say, oh, well, you're just using religion. What do you mean just using religion? That's all there is. There's nothing else. There's, you either believe in God or you're one of the ones that isn't going to be in a good place. Period. Either you repent and ask for forgiveness and turn from these things like, 
Let me give you some examples. Do you people just think because the New Testament's there that the whole rest of the Bible doesn't exist anymore? Are you retarded? Are you religiously retarded is what I should say. Okay, listen. I was raised with God as the core belief of my life as a child. My father was a preacher, but he was a normal human being as well. Okay, so let me explain. I've gone up and down, up and down, and left and right, everywhere. I've been from overseas to prison, okay? Didn't get arrested for my first time or get in any trouble until I was already a grown-ass stupid man that thought he was in love with a girl that was a drug addict on something called methadone. I still don't know anything about it, but she was heavily addicted to methadone. Anyway, I have slipped, I've fallen short, I am a sinner, I am a piece of crap. But I know one thing, and one thing only, that at the fiber of my being, I wake up in the morning, and when I forget to pray, I get scared. <laughs> I have a fear. When I get mad and I scream at God, and I cuss God out, because I do, I yell at my father all the time all the time. I don't have anybody else but my father. That's it. Do you understand? Okay. There's there's nothing else. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see what you Christians don't understand about that. You judge me because of my past. You say I went from being a hero to a zero. Well, guess what I got to say about that? I'm not your regular old Christian. Okay. I'm a Christian warrior. I am a fucking savage. Okay, if I could save the souls of all of you and not be able to step into that tabernacle anymore, that's what's going to have to happen. Because clearly none of you are willing to stand up for yourselves. None of you have an actual core belief that you believe in that you're willing to sacrifice for. And that's sad. Because to me, that's the same as blaspheming God. Sitting here and letting this evil take over the world. First of all, let's go into this. Let's go into the Bible, okay? You say, well, none of this is actually in the Bible. And the Bible teaches that you should be LGBTQ. You're retarded. You're what I call religiously retarded. Yes, I make up my own words. Religiously retarded, okay? Because Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. A woman should not wear a man's clothes, and a man should not wear a woman's clothes. Any who does is detestable in the sight of the Lord your God. Okay, you can scroll right over to Deuteronomy 23, verse 1. Ding, ding, ding. If a man crushes his testicles or cuts off his penis, he is no longer... Welcome in the house of the Lord. Verbatim what it says. Boom. There's your whole transgender movement right there. Shot down the toilet to any preacher that says it's okay. These are what they call later on in the Bible and all throughout the Bible, like Daniel and Titus and Corinthians and false prophets. And in the end of times, there will be many false prophets. Prophets. There will be law abiders that arrest preachers in the street for speaking the name of Jesus Christ. Any of this ring a bell? No? Well, you haven't read your Bible. Or God hasn't given you discernment for what you were supposed to have your role as in the Bible because you haven't listened to him. Okay. It just, there's so many things. Daniel. Doom and gloom. The Daniel or the prophecies are for what are happening right now. Read you some Daniel. The end of times. The prophecy of what is to come. Read some Corinthians. Read some Romans. Read some Titus. Read in the later part of the New Testament. The beginning of the New Testament is rainbows and sunshine. Forgiveness of all sins and the love of Christ. The end of the New Testament is doom and gloom in the fact that Christ is coming back again, but he's coming back with a sword in his hand. He's got a cantana, and he is going to come back for vengeance and spit fire and rain 
brimstone over the earth. Do you understand? Okay, the Bible says be more Christ-like. Okay, so follow the line and be more Christ-like. Oh, it also says in the Bible. Okay. Listen. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen. How can a believer? This is the New Testament. This is Jesus' words speaking. I think Paul. This is a, one of the writings of Paul. I'm pretty sure. Preachers out there, fellow epistles of Christ, you can correct me if I'm wrong. My Bible is above me, not on me. But it might have it in here that how can a believer be with an unbeliever? How can one who says he believes in Christ tolerate one that does not believe in Christ, that speaks against Christ? Huh. Could be Romans too, though. Romans is really wonderful. So, my name is Joshua. I was named after Joshua in the Bible. Had to sing Joshua fought the battle of Jericho. Um every Sunday at church because I was the preacher's son. Oh, I open my Bible and it just says some Timothy. So I'm going to give you some of the good words straight from the book. If I can read these tiny little words. So I did not expect this video to go on so long. I almost started to give my testimony on here. A little bit of it I did. So. <laughs> Okay, this is not my favorite version. My, my good Bible that I read every day is in my truck because I like to take it around with me. So, this uses words that I don't clearly understand sometimes. That's why it's not my favorite Bible. And the other one's translated strictly in Hebrew, which I like that a lot better. It says completely different things, just so you know. Different Bibles are going to put things in a completely different context for different people. That's why people think they're different religions. That's why people think that you're wrong in your religion of Christ and they're right in their religion of Christ. It's because you're not reading the original Bibles, guys. That's why. You're not reading what the word... What did, what, what did it say? The word... The, the, the world was spoken... What? Hebrew? The world was spoken to existence in Hebrew, right? That's, that's what it says in the Bible. Uh... So, do you know how hard it is to translate Hebrew to English? Pretty difficult. They have to substitute a lot of words that don't mean the same thing. So, that's part of the problem. That's part of the problem. That's changing the word of God from what it originally is supposed to be. Anyway, that's a whole other thing, right? But we know that the law is good. If a man use it law if man uses it lawfully. Lawfully. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for the sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for... I'm sorry, I was so close to myself there, guys. Men... Stellars? Men stellars? Men stellars? Men stellars? Okay. For liars, for perjured persons. And if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, doctrine of God, by the way, sound doctrine, according to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust, and I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who hath enabled me 
for that he counted me faithful. Put, putting, man, they got so many words that are on different sides of the page. Sorry, guys. Me into the ministries, putting me into the ministries. Remember, I have a TBI, so. And no, that's not a sexually transmitted disease for those of you who don't know. It's a traumatic brain injury. I apologize. <clears throat> but, you get the gist of it, right? You're not going to like this one. So this is the prayer and the divine order of the sexes. Okay. And I want you to listen to what I just read a second ago. Listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, listen to it over and over again. Because realize that that's where the forefathers got our moral and religious laws from, guys. So if you go through the Bible and you go through the Constitution, you'll see if you go through the the forefathers' writings, okay? And they wrote many things about how you should look at the Constitution, by the way. Many, many things. Um, and as a matter of fact, um, they wrote many things right in the very front of the original Constitution that told you what to do if you wanted to mess up their Constitution. Um, so does the Bible. So does the Bible. So, our Constitution was literally based off of the Bible. Do you not understand that? forefathers understood that. They made it very clear in their writings. Okay. Sorry, it's got a lot of little footnotes in this Bible. I'm just getting past the footnotes. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety not with brooded hair or gold or pearls or costly array but which becometh women professing godliness with good works let the women learn in silence with all subjection what kind of bible am I reading here have you ever read that part in the bible guys I have numerous times um so when you're talking about Andrew Tate and he's saying well God said this in the bible there it is you know he didn't say that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And this is this is Timothy. This is the book of Timothy. Okay. This is the first apostle of Paul, is what we're reading in right now. Remember, I was talking about that one a minute ago. Let the women learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man but to be silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. If they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety, that's the end of chapter 2. So, did you hear that? Because you need to go back and hear that. Okay, because that was for the pro-lifers right there. That's your exact argument that you're supposed to give. When you say, well, uh, 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 in the Bible it just says you shouldn't do it. Well, then go to the book of Timothy and read right there where it says exactly you shouldn't do it. Okay? Because this is what you're trying to stand up for, so this is what you need to speak from. Don't speak from here, speak from here. Okay, I'm never going to tell you what I think the Bible says. I'm just going to tell you what the Bible says, man. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what this says. 
Come on, guys. Don't spit words at me. Speak to me. Don't talk to me. Speak to me. You know what I mean? I love you guys. I hope you're having a blessed day. I really did not expect this to be a 25-minute video. It just happened to be that video of that preacher getting arrested on Tim Pool tonight happened to tie into exactly what happened at Wawa to me two and a half hours ago. And... I just had to get into how awesome God is and how you really don't understand your Bible and you're really not reading your Bible. You're really not reading your Bible. And that's a problem. That's a problem. A lot of people pick up a Bible and they just read the New Testament. Man, you better get back in some Daniel because that's what's happening right now. You better get back in some Deuteronomy because that'll tell you how to... When people ask you questions about the Bible, when you're talking to LGBTQ people, and they're like, oh, well, where does it say that in the Bible? Read the Bible. No, tell them where it says it in the Bible. Show it to them. Read it to them with the authority of God from the book of God. Do you understand? Throw God at them. Go whap. Because that's what this tells us to do right now. I just read it to you, men. I just read it to you. Where are all the men at? That this Bible is speaking to and saying, you're supposed to be out here lifting me up every single place you go and telling people about God and fighting this evil. Where are you at? Because it makes it very clear at the same time it's telling you to go out and speak and lift people up that God does not tolerate. Jesus did not tolerate the evil. God did not give his angels swords and shields to tolerate evil. I love you guys. Hope you have a blessed night. I'm out.